You feel like you're doing everything right when it comes to potty training your puppy in a crate, but the crate training part just isn't working. And every time you go to get your puppy, you never know what kind of mess there will be waiting for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the most common mistakes that people make with their crate training that lead to puppies having accidents in their crate. I'm Ken Steep. This is Hippie Shake. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Every single week at our training facility, we help more than 500 dog owners who are just like you to overcome their dog training challenges. So if this is your first time on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. Now this episode is all about potty training problems when you're trying to crate train your puppy. This is episode two, uh, so if you're having other crate training issues and you feel like crate training isn't working, uh, then check out the first episode of this series. We want our puppies to be comfortable in their crate, but if you're having potty training issues and your puppy keeps having accidents, it's important to do things like remove their bedding, whether it's a bed or a towel or whatever from their crate. Puppies uh, will sometimes go pee or poop on that bedding or on that towel and then they'll sort of scrunch it up to the side so that they can still sleep comfortably. Now this won't be forever. This is just while we deal with this potty training issue. We're going to remove the bedding from the puppy's crate if they continue to have accidents. Remove other things like pee pads as well. It creates a bit of a conflicting message for puppies and we're going to show them exactly how they can uh, very quickly potty train by giving them very clear uh, boundaries. So by taking them outside for example and if you're using puppy pad training in your house. There's uh, probably lots of videos on YouTube that talk about uh, progressively moving it closer to an exterior door, for example. But let's make sure for now that all of the other things in our puppy's crate uh, have been removed if they're having problems with potty training. Next, we need to look at how much room our puppy has in their crate. Now, a lot of us will buy a crate for uh, the puppy's lifetime. We're going to buy it big enough for them to grow into. But uh, the problem there is that when your puppy's really little, there might be too much room available for them to go have an accident in one corner and then sleep soundly or lie down and be comfortable and dry in another corner of the crate. Something that you can do is, especially for those of you who have a wire crate for your puppy, you can get a divider. Now I know there's probably some plastic crates out there that you can get a divider for, but you may need to look at doing something like creating bulk in one end of uh, your plastic puppy's crate. Make sure that you really have a good look at how much room your puppy has. They need to be able to stand up, lie down, and turn around quite comfortably in their crate. But if you're giving them too much more room than that, then they may feel like there's lots of opportunities to go pee on one side and sleep on the other. I'm going to use Hippie Shake as my demonstration dog and I want her to feel like there's a bit of a consequence if she has an accident in her crate and you can see here I pour an entire cup of water in one end of the crate and she's still able to uh, you know relax comfortably in the other end of the crate so make sure that that crate has the appropriate amount of space for your puppy especially when you're having potty training problems. Another option is going on like a buy and sell website and grabbing your crate from there really inexpensively. Now people are often selling crates because they feel like they don't need to use them anymore or maybe they're has grown out of it so uh, you can definitely check that out while your puppy is this size and just a quick uh, search on uh, our local buy and sell website and I found all sorts of puppy crate options. We want our puppy's crate to be somewhere that they can be safe and comfortable and to help us with their potty training process and we don't want to have to be supervising them when they're in there however when you're working on crate training especially if you're having potty training problems with your puppy it's a great idea that if they're in their crate and you're able to supervise them that you do keep an eye on them that you really listen for them to maybe start making noise that they might need to go outside. Now this may seem a little inconvenient but moving your puppy's crate around to wherever you are in the living space is going to be really helpful after your playtime or your training session or when they want to have a rest. Moving your puppy uh, maybe beside you in the living room while you hang out in there it's going to allow you to hear them make noise and let you know when they need to go out maybe they begin to stir. Now if your puppy just all of a sudden decides to go potty in their crate that's also going to allow you to capture that moment and you Use your voice with an oops or an ah, ah or something, some verbal marker to let them know that that's not what you want. At that point, you can take them outside and you know praise them for going in a place that you do want them to go. But that moment uh, that you're able to catch them in the act and mark that moment is going to be really helpful if they do have an accident. That just reminded me that after a training session and after a playtime, those are really important times to take your puppy out to go potty. Those are pretty common times for puppies to have accidents. And anytime you're about to put your puppy into their crate, make sure you take them out 
outside. That way you're not um, putting your puppy away in their kennel or in their crate with a full bladder. That goes for nighttime too. Now anytime we have a puppy in the house who's potty training or crate training, we will always bring them up to our bedroom in their crate at night. And maybe that means having another crate in your home or maybe it means lugging that crate upstairs when it's bedtime, but believe me, it's worth it, especially if you're having potty training issues. If we feel like our puppy's really struggling or uncomfortable uh, it, when they're beside the bed, then sometimes we'll elevate that crate. If it's a small enough crate and puppy, you can even put them on maybe your nightstand or something like that, or at least bring them up to where they can see you or hear you in their crate. Now it's gonna be really important because a lot of people complain that overnight I have problems with my puppy having accidents. At nighttime, and hopefully you're a light enough sleeper, you'll hear your puppy start to fuss or let you know that they need to go out. And this is a really important thing about being able to rehearse the good stuff, to really make your puppy feel like they do have an opportunity. If they have to go, they need to hold it a little bit, but they do have an opportunity to go outside. Your crate is such an important management tool for your puppy training, especially when it comes to your puppy potty training process. Try saying that three times fast. But if you're looking for more crate training specifics and how to teach your puppy to love their crate, check out the card above me and it will really help your puppy to learn to love their crate and feel comfortable in there. If you're having other potty training challenges with your puppy, check out that playlist beside me. It will cover several different aspects of puppy potty training and some of the mistakes that people make. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.